Hello there, welcome back to the block breaking SMP. So, we're old men now. <laughs> I'm an old man. And, and Shuma isn't really happy being where he is, you see. We had all this free space to do nothing because he's trapped in time. But, why don't we give him a bit more space to do nothing when he's trapped in time? For which, I'm planning to move him. And that's what's about right there. Hmm. Bit suspicious, eh? Hello there. So, as I get attacked by phantoms, you can see that Shuma now has a better home and a mouth. And as you can tell, it looks good from all angles because <laughs> it fits on on the roof. Uh, I said roof. I meant it fits on the cliff. <laughs> yeah, because Shuma Gorath is a creature of the dark. The evil and not, not uh, whatever that is, just that green stuff. Yeah, we're not about the green stuff here. And I added these floating particles. I've traded with a bunch of villagers. Let's see, there's blackstone, and I think we also got coal here. I think they add some sense of time being frozen. Yeah, so these are the prices. Now the ingots are still at 13 with the free with this coal, and deputy is still six diamonds. So for once, we're back at base, and I build a moss farm. I actually lost the replay footage to it, so you're gonna have to just adjust with me. I actually made this moss farm by myself. It's an original design. I post a link in the description for you. So I already done a complete test of this. I put a whole double chest, three hoppers, and a dispenser. That's like 51 stacks. I made back more than 51 stacks, plus these three stacks of bones. And we got a lot of moss here, got a lot of moss there. And here we are in the underbelly of Moscow, where I've also gathered four, four more shulkers of moss. Oh, and side note, this is something that Rocking has mostly been working on, which I just provide some, some resources for. I didn't do all the hard work, but... the Wii music. It was actually Rockling's idea. So go check out Rockling's channel, link in the description. And here's the other thing. So this farm actually gets me a lot of bone meal. Basically, I don't need to buy bone meal at all. But I am also a part of a dye company. And basically, I made it a rule to still purchase bone meal from those who are selling it. And, and I'm only gonna keep enough bone meal to get this farm running. So all of these, two stacks and two bone blocks every time I AFK here, I'm gonna give away to, speaking of, I'm gonna give away to Skalander. So this barrel right here is where I'm gonna put the excess bone meal I get from the moss farm and I will, I've, I've given Scully the permission to take them for free for her dye farm. So yeah, you can- Thank could, you by the way. Uh, I'll, I'll basically let you know every time this is uh, stocked up so you can come by and take some if you want. All right, um, I do have one question. Mm -hmm. Can I use some of it if there's extra to turn into white dye? Cause I have no way of making dye. Sure, go ahead. Now this is all, all right. this is all for you if you want because I still want to buy yeah. from people. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> all right. See ya. Bye bye. So at the start of the season, I actually chose this island because this was supposed to be the start island where I would make a specific build that I had planned for. And I think it's about time, you know, episode eight. That's when people usually make starter bases after they have a gold farm and a wither rose farm and um, a moss farm. <laughs> so without any further ado, while well, we shimmy, let's get to it. <laughs> uh, I'm a child. Sorry for interrupting. You're probably wondering why I'm interrupting you guys, and that is because we have made significant progress on the T-Rex. 
Uh, it's supposed to be a dragon, but as you can see, we've got a skeleton and we've had a little visit from Wild Spade and friends. As you can see, uh, that's 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 deep. Anyway, so I finished the cranium of the skeleton. It's hard working with bone blocks. So I thought I'd make a skeleton for a skeleton made out of dirt. Because, you know, dirt is easier to break and place. And I bought a bunch of bones. It's raining because for once we bought something at the shopping district. <laughs> uh, and you know what else I realized? All of this needs to go. Yep, all of it. Because it looks more like a T-Rex than a dragon. Because, from what I've learned, dragons have this sort of, you know, it goes up here, it goes down, it, it's like a really funnel nose, and the skull or the cranium, you know, the front of the skull is pronounced. But T-Rexes and actual dinosaurs that existed have this sort of curved skull. So from here you can see it actually does start to look a, more like a dragon just because I removed those blocks that was suggesting that it looked like a T-Rex. So we're gonna curve this this way, get started on the horns, get started on the on the fantasy gills. Or I, I put up a picture of the dragon I'm trying to talk about so you'll have a better understanding. But yeah, those. We're gonna put those on either side of the dragon. So. I might pop into a time lapse right now. If you hear music, yes, this is a time lapse. If you don't hear music, I'm going to finish the skeleton and I will meet you for detailing, hopefully. So let's get to it either way. That's what this tray is called now. It's where I've used stuff at my base. And da -da -da. so as you can tell, I added the, the fins of the fantasy dragon, the horns, it's got a bunch of other horns as well. And I've turned on the shaders just because, yeah, without it, with just the dirt, it doesn't look as fancy. And next episode, we will be working on filling this whole thing up with bones and other blocks, such as some calcite, which we got from border some quartz block that we bought from Howard as well as our own from the gold farm some diorite which was actually hand delivered to us by order so I was AFK here and he just put the chest down here and and I yeah I did pay him in the snacks a lot of pond so thank you order for this and the calcite which I bought from you previously I don't think I'm gonna use snow but I may consider it and yeah I really like how this came out it looks really cool in my opinion hope you feel the same let me know down in the comments and with that, we're short on time, and I will see you guys later as we slowly fall to the water. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. See you later. Bye!